Hello, Christians and friends. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Larry, and I serve in Grace Missional Community, and I trust you have been blessed as you join us today. Today, I'm covering 2 Samuel 4. This chapter begins with Ishbosheth hearing the news about Edna's death, and he figured that he was next on the death list. Ishbosheth had two men who were captains of the units, Bena and Mikhaq. They were concerned for their lives and they took matters into their own hands. Out of their fear, they killed Ishbosheth and brought his head to David. They wanted to show their allegiance to the incoming king. Instead, David was frustrated at their foolish action. He commanded his men to cut off their hands and feet and hang them to show his disapproval of the assassination. The application question for 2 Samuel 4 is, what is our real motivation to serve others? The key verse I've chosen is 2 Samuel 4 verse 8. 2 Samuel 4 verse 8. When they arrived at Hebron, they presented Ishbosheth's head to David. Look, they ex exclaimed to the king, Here is the head of Ishbosheth, the son of your enemy Saul, who tried to kill you. Today, the Lord has given my Lord the king revenge on Saul and his entire family. Now these two men had presented themselves as having the best of intention to David. Instead, they were motivated by selfish intention to murder a sleeping man. They presumed to stand before the king and presented themselves as God's vessels. A Christian brother who ran a training company told me that he wanted to help those who want to serve God in full-time ministry. He wanted to be a blessing to this group of people who are pursuing their call. I felt blessed by his godly intention. I joined as an associate trainer in his company. Well, for the first assignment, he asked me to meet this HR manager whom I knew to secure the customer service training contract. By his grace, we were awarded the contracts. I designed and I delivered the training programs. The HR manager was happy with the outcome and made payment to the training company subsequently. Well, after a month, I did not get paid for my assignment. I called him and he said, it's coming. I waited, but he did not honor his word. I had to keep asking him to reimburse the work that I had delivered. Well, things got worse because he spread rumors that I was harassing him and I was falsely accused by him and I had to explain to people who approached me. I was hurt by this brother who initially showed such godly intention. He told me and it took me rather a couple of months before I chose to forgo the fees that he owed me. Well, with God's grace, I forgave him for such ungodly motive. I decided to surrender this unpleasant incident to the Lord and continue to pursue my calling. Well, a couple of months later, I heard that he was arrested for committing an offence. I did not rejoice, but was sad for him and his family. Gracious and friends, let us have a correct motivation to serve others. God watches closely on our motive. God loves us. He disciplines us if we act maliciously to deceive others. Let us be grateful for the privilege to serve and to build one another as Christ's disciple, glorifying God in truth and love. May we ask the Holy Spirit to check the intentions of our heart as we pursue God's purpose. Amen. So let us pray. Holy Spirit, I pray for every believer to always carry a godly intention to serve others, that we do not use your name in vain. Lord, please forgive us if we have had selfish intentions in the past that brought pain to others. Forgive us for being unworthy witnesses of the gospel. Lord, give us the courage to go to the person whom we have failed and to seek their forgiveness and to amend our ways. Instill in us a reverent fear of you. We desire to live a life of godly motives that glorify your needs. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you have been blessed by my sharing today. May the Lord 
bless you.